Hi everyone, uh, today I will take this question that Alasdair here asked. Do you have an idea how to spawn console log during Cypress component testing? Uh, the user usually tries to use on before load during site visit, but in component there is mount that doesn't have this. I always reply to questions like that. Do you have a public reproducible example that I can run? And Alasdair is awesome. He created a repo. Okay, let's take a look. Right, even instructions, explanation of an error. So let's clone it. Go into that folder. Okay, open code editor. And let's install. Again, the readme says just run the component testing. And there's button spec, component button spec. So this is the component and this is what the user wants to spy on. Okay, perfect. Open component testing. So we see the component tester, we can click on the button, and it says, could not find register Alice for console error. Okay, let's open DevTools, I think this is internal error in Cypress, let's rerun this. Okay, so we see this console error log, because this button, alright, it actually calls console error, so we want to detect that. Great, so here's the trick. In the normal end-to-end -end testing, this iframe loads the application and there is a second iframe where the spec is running. When you run component testing, in order for you to actually load and mount this button, look, you're mounting in the spec, right? It has to be right here. So the two iframes become one. And that's why if you look at the context, you have the top window and you have just a single application iframe. And that's for application, which is the component and the spec itself. There are no two frames, so if you want to spy on this, you can just spy on your regular console, right? Because it's the same console object that's shared between the test file and the component. Okay, now you can see that this console error, whatever the stub we created, was actually called, right? Because when the button loaded, it called console error, which is exactly the same console error as we just stopped. Okay, and because it is called, we'll say should have been perfect. So this is how you spy or stop console methods from your component tests. Remember, they are the same objects in your component and in the spec file.